Sorry, balik na naman ako. So now, we have an update about our application to the USCIS, which is the removal of condition. The removal of condition for the two years green card. So now, so, um, that I-751, we sent to the USCIS. So we have now the letter from the USCIS. So I'm going to open it. And let's see what's inside. This is an update from our application. Oh, wow. Okay. So, they return our family pictures. Okay. They return our family pictures. Uh, what is inside in this envelope? So, all the pictures that we sent to the USCIS. They sent it back. Here is already. So, this was when I got pregnant. We have a baby when I give birth. See, the sister of my daughter. The sisters and the brothers. The brothers. Then our family picture. Then the godmother. The godmothers. Then here the godmothers. Here the godparents. Mr. Bernab na ano yung isa eh, na, na, na iwan. <laughs> then ito yung family picture namin. Yan. Then here, yun, yung banding, ko, banding namin sa grandkid ng granddaughter ng asawa ko. Then ito yung um, stepdaughter ko na binigyan niya na yung mga brothers niya ng, ng toys, toy gun. Ito yung uh, that, the first time that we arrive here and we go to the US, uh, not the US but the park. This one. And this is the Father's Day of uh, last year. At my, uh, the boys, that our boys give my husband something like a stone. It's a stone and um, a card. Here when we go through the surprise. So these are all that we receive back. This is the first birthday of our daughter. And here, <laughs> so sweet. See, they return, they return everything now. Except there is a letter from the USCIS that I have to read. Okay. US citizenship, so it's really stated, dated, uh, dated February 25th, 2021. So we sent this, um, we sent our application to the USCIS, which is January 23rd. And then when we, uh, we, uh, we tried to locate and it arrived at the USCIS, uh, Arizona, it arrived there, uh, January 29th. So January 10th, 29th until now, it seemed like it's a one month today. It's really today if, if there is a 29, but it's March 1st. So if there is 29, so it's really exactly one month that it arrived. So it's stated here, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, it's stated at the bottom. Then February 25th, 2021, then it stated my name, then our address. There, sir, slash madam, we are returning an items you sent in support of your application petition. As it is a format, we cannot place in your file folder for review by an officer during the adjudication, adjudication process. Visit the USCIS con, um, conduct center at www.uscis.gov contact center to get answers to your questions and connect with a live USCIS representative. 
to USCIS contact center to provide information in English and Spanish. For TTY, deaf and hard hearing, call 1-800-767-1833. Thank you, USCIS, uh, US Citizenship and Immigration Services. That's what it stated. So we are, uh, the return this, just, just this. Because it stated you sent in support of your application petition. As it is a format we cannot place in your file folder for review by an officer during the adjudication process. Okay, so we have to contact to the USCIS. That's what we're going to do. So it's stated live USCIS representative. So we're going to call to the USCIS on what's going on, why it's stated here that uh, as it is format, uh, format, I'm not sure what does it mean by format, we cannot place in your folder to review. So I will let you know uh, whatever the, the USCIS live representative will tell us after we call them. Okay, thank you for watching everyone and have a nice day. I'm so thankful that we received a letter from the USCIS at least for more than one month since we processed. We got an answer from them and we will see what's what's next. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> thank you.